It's huge, it's weighty, it feels like it's worth something. It just looks like something out of the future. <laughs> it's so hard to read. I just love money. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a video similar to one we did about a year ago. Almost to the day. Almost well, not the... quite, maybe a month ago. Anyway. Uh, today we're gonna to be checking out Scottish pounds. I was going to compare them to British pounds, but we apparently used most of those while we were on our trip. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. So now all we have left are all these crumpled bits. Yes. Which got left in a wallet. Yeah, my... And they're really hard to uncrumple. Yeah, my wallet is awful for bills. But anyway, guys, I enjoy checking out different currencies because uh, especially since I know it's going to be a thing in the past, probably in the near future. Mm -hmm. It's just cool to check out. But yeah, that's what we're doing here today is check out some Scottish pounds. Well, let's see which ones we like better, the English or the Scottish pounds. Now, we were told that the Scottish don't have their own coin. Like... For uh, right. one pound, two pound pences. So if that is the case, uh, I wasn't able to get any of those because they're the same. <laughs> yeah. I also a funny story is I was trying to get Scottish currency while we were in Edinburgh. Yeah. And I was trying to find the 50 and 100. When we were there and we were purchasing stuff. We had occasionally accumulate some of the actual We Scotch started pounds. accumulating some of the Scotch pounds and some of the stores I was able to ask for some of the smaller bills. But even when I went to the bank. The National Bank of Scotland. Yeah, they didn't have, they had a 50, but they didn't have a 100 yeah. in the bank at all. So I wasn't able to get it. And then when we came over here and we ordered some, because I think, again, we had spent most of the pounds because we hadn't planned on doing this video. So then I thought we were going to be going back to Scotland, hopefully someday soon. So I ordered some more Scottish currency from our international bank. Just so we could compare it as well. So that we could do this video. But what's funny is I couldn't even get a hundred through them. <laughs> no. So we do not have a hundred Scottish pound. Which we didn't have a hundred British pound either. So. But they don't make it. That's the difference. Oh, that they don't true. make the hundred English. Or at least they, they don't need more. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna do a quick, I'm just gonna do a quick rehash on our US currency, just in case if you didn't see our video, we'll put a link to it in down in the description. Almost so you can ago. go check it out. But yeah, it's all the same size, pretty much all the same color. You have the one, the two, which on the two dollar bill, I, for some reason, I'll, I'll issue a correction. I said it was made like in 1970. <laughs> it was made in 1862 is yes. when they issued the first two dollar bill. I don't remember if we actually showed this one. In no, our we last didn't. video. The 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. All the same size, all the same color. There's no braille. The 100's the only one that's got kind of a strip through yeah, it. Yeah, the 100 does have like a little blue security strip. It's not as unique as other currencies. It's <laughs> that's very, for sure. all the exact same. Like very that's uniform. the whole stack. Everything's uniform. And I don't like the, yeah, I don't like the fact that there's no braille for blind people. Yeah. Because I think, I've seen videos and stuff like they have to like fold it a certain way and they have to rely on people telling them what bill it is yeah yeah so that they don't you know get cheated anyway yeah. guys that's just a rehash of the u.s currency now i did want to point out real quick because when we ordered some we got a variety and what's interesting is we got like several different kinds of the same bill so we'll start with the fives we got two different kinds of fives but they're both scottish pounds so you can look at that one and i think that's the one we came across more so but this one well, this was made in 2016, so this, I think, is older. This one has almost no writing on it. Oh, well, I don't remember seeing this one. Yeah, this is a different one. This is 2016. Okay. So you have two different prints, apparently. So they changed the currency. Oh, there we go. Within, like, five years. Who's the face on this one? This is Nan Shepard. I've never heard of hardly anyone. Sir Walter Scott. I haven't heard hardly, hardly of anyone on the, the on the faces of these the Scottish pounds. But yeah, it is similar to the uh, English pound. It's the yes. same color. Which we have one of those. Yes. But yes, yeah, similar color for sure. I did actually notice though, this one's all crinkled and all that, but I did notice that the Scottish pound, at least for the $5 bill, and I don't know if you can see it. Is it a tad longer? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. <laughs> the Scottish pound is a tad longer than the English pound. That's interesting. All right, next we have the tens, and the same thing, we have two different kinds, which is interesting. This one we came across a lot. It's got two, like, otters in the back, and then the front is a picture of this is the same thing, too. Mary Somerville, I think that's what her name is, which I'm not sure who that is. I don't remember this building. Oh, that's the same building that was on the five of this five. It says the same face, too. Oh, look at that. These are almost identical, the five except the for ten. the back. Yeah, it's even got that weird, like, see-through lighthouse part. Well, all, all, I think all of them have the see-through thing. So they have the same face on front, but the five had, like, a cave on the back, and then the ten has some sort of bridge. It actually looks like that famous bridge that they show in Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> So I don't know why that I did that. And then the 20, I only we only came across one type of these. Yeah, and again, on the, um, I, I really wish we had the Brit uh, the English pounds to compare them to. I think we spent but our the, 20s. The, I do remember the colors all being very similar yeah, and the I size the is all the same. <laughs> it's so hard to read. 
Oh, it's just our lighting and I just can't <laughs> read it. Kate, I cannot read the last name. Yeah, let me see. Kate Cranston, Pruston, Cruston. You're, okay, you're, you're just Cruston. <laughs> it's got some squirrels but, in the back. But yeah, I did notice on the newer currency, that it's very, very colorful and they have animals on the back. So there's two squirrels on here. Mm -hmm. So I actually really like that because this one has like otters. And then the five had a fish. Yep. And then the 50, we do have a 50. It's Which I will say it's funny that so many people in the comments, uh, comments Last time I was like, oh, you can't spend the 50 anywhere. You're not gonna be able to use it. I've never seen a 50. I never had any problem. I guess we were in the bigger cities Maybe, for the yeah. most part. But I never had anyone question the 50. Well, I can't say that. I had, we did have a couple of people, some of like surprised that I had a 50 pound. Right. But no one denied it. But they it. still, yeah, they still had the change for it, I guess you could say. All right, the 50 has Flores. Stevenson. Flora Stevenson, yep. Flora Stevenson. And this one looks like it's got some hawks or some sort of uh, birds of prey on the back. So again, animals again. So you, the Scottish pounds all have animal themes, it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, at least at least the new ones. I mean, I'm sure it's changed throughout the years. This uh, see-through part, though, I find it looks really modern futuristic. I don't know, something with the angles and the cuts of it. It just looks like something out of the future. <laughs> Um, the 20s kind of like that too, and the 10s. I think, they, um, I think all the new ones are. But these have all the similar see-through shape. I feel like I'm leaning more than I really need to. Those are the Scottish pounds. I actually do like them better than the English pounds, only because... Well, we, because they're like Scotland so much? No, 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 no. I mean, I really did like Scotland. I fell in love with Scotland. <laughs> it's nothing against the queen. Mm. Or I guess now the king. It's just your face is always the same. It's always gonna be the king or the queen. Right. Whereas kind of like or more similar to our money and probably a lot of other currencies, different. they can they can choose to have different people, people. on the face of the bill yeah. that they want to like um, commemorate or recognize as being great. Right. Granted, I mean the royalty is great and everything, but yeah. if it's like every single bill, it kind of lacks a little bit of it lacks a little bit of differences. Oh, okay. Yeah. So and also I do I'm not gonna lie, like I do like the animals a little bit. <laughs> I think it's a very random thing to have like animals on the back of your money. But I like it. Like the fish and the squirrels and like yeah. every single one having animals is just unique. Yeah, I think so. I like yeah, it because it kind of follows with the theme too. I like it because it's more unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This and they're apparently more rare because even the Bank of Scotland didn't always have what we wanted. Well, at least a hundred. Uh, I really do like the purple though on um, both the English and the Scottish. Like I that, do just too. that. The it's my hue, favorite color purple, I think, uh, is very, very pretty. I don't know. Yeah, all around, I do like the British and Scottish currency. I to see more different kinds of currency because I came across this one uh, museum we went to recently and they had like one bill from like 50 different countries and what was really funny is I was picking through them and I found like five or six that all had the queen on it. Oh really? Yes. Well, yeah because it's like I think Canada and Australia and like a bunch yeah. of other countries had the queen as But there was their... even countries like I hadn't heard of that country but there she is again. <laughs> so it was kind of interesting looking through that and I just love money. <laughs> Does that say something bad about me? <laughs> anyway, I actually will be going to a different country soon. Mm -hmm. So I'll have some new currency to be checking out. So, and I think I have a decent amount of it coming because <laughs> it's slightly deflated. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, comment down below. That could be a hint to what country he's going to. Yeah, it is in Europe. Comment down below and let us know if you like us just check out random currencies. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. It's just a, I don't know. I probably should just start collecting old money. <laughs> we should. But. You never know. It could be worth something or it could be worth nothing. But at the very least, it's cool. Anyway, guys, hopefully we can get back to Scotland and actually use this money. Because uh, otherwise, it. we might have to transfer this. it back into US dollars at some <laughs> point. But anyway, guys, that was the video. I think, uh, well, what was your, what, which one do you like better? Well, obviously the 20. No, of that. no, no, I'm talking about between English and Scottish. Oh, it's hard to tell because we lost some of our Scottish pounds, or we lost some of our British pounds, so I don't actually remember exactly what they look like. But I think I do like the two pound coin. I do, yeah. That's just It's just, thing. it's huge, it's weighty, it feels like it's worth something. I got you. One and two pound coins, I really like. I like the one pound too. I like the one and the two pound, but their thickness and stuff, they almost feel like they're made of gold. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're holding something valuable. Yeah. Where these are all kind of the same. So. It's only if you can read that you know how much they're worth. So anyway guys, uh, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. And yeah, hopefully we can come back to Scotland soon. Mm -hmm.